Now, I know this might come as somewhat of a hot take, but I am not the biggest fan of Boris Johnson. I think that his handling of the coronavirus pandemic could have been better. I think that some of the guidance we were given, certainly in the early stages of lockdowns, was shambolic, often contradictory and nonsensical. And I believe that the recent hypocrisy that has come to light regarding the flouting of restrictions is, of course, a bit of a two fingers up to the general public. Um, but as I have said in previous videos, I don't really know what else we expect from our politicians. Now, that being said, of course, I think there are things he has done well. And it is a balancing act, really, when it comes to determine the success of a certain government or of a certain leader. This is why I take such substantial issue with the notion that Boris Bad is simply a full and complete political standpoint. If you go through social media, or indeed sometimes in the mainstream media even, people who have previously had no political background, no political opinion, and actually these people who, particularly on social media, have historically shunned politics and shown absolutely zero interest in the way this country is run, or indeed in any socio-economic issues. Suddenly they are calling for Boris Johnson to resign, they are criticising his leadership, or in many cases they're just making fun of him, either in the way he looks, you know, in terms of his hair and his general scruffy appearance, or just calling him names in the way that you do to each other back when you were at primary school in the playground. I want to say that Boris Bad is the same level of political standpoint is orange man bad. Remember the meme when Boris Johnson, um, not Boris Johnson, sorry, President Trump was elected, attempted to be impeached and ultimately replaced by Joe Biden. Well done to our guys across the pond there. I think you nailed that. Sound bites, snippets, two, three word slogans are not a political standpoint. I don't care whether you're Labour, Conservative, Liberal, whether you're left or right leaning, it doesn't matter. If you have a political opinion, it allows for constructive discourse. If you can form a political opinion, you can choose your own political preferences, who you'd like to run the country, how you think things should be run, and actually take a genuine interest and do some reading onto social and economic issues, then it provides a platform for constructive conversation between often conflicting ideals. Simply saying something is bad is not a political opinion. It is the result of years and years of social media dialogue which has basically led to a complete polarisation of opinions. You have to be pro something or you have to be anti something. You can't be anywhere in the middle and you can't take a little from column A, a little from column B to basically reach a, a rounded conclusion about your own standpoint. So Boris Bad not an opinion. And if that is all you have to add to the conversation, then maybe go and do some reading and form some political opinions of your own. And I will finally leave this video by saying I am not a great Boris Johnson fan. However, I will struggle to rack my brains to think of a leader or a potential leader who is currently in standing who may have done a better job considering the inheritance of Brexit when Boris first came to power, and then the unforeseen and unprecedented coronavirus situation, which whilst I have significant criticisms of the handling of, we have no way of telling how this would have been handled by other factions. Stay safe and sane.